Hello and welcome to Body Bags. My name is James and I'm your Sunday Night Reviewer. And this week we have been doing our monthly theme week. And this time it has been films of Paul Nashi, the, um, the Spanish horror actor slash director. Um, I think he's one that's often probably from the era, uh, sorry, the, the era that, that he was from. That may be the reason why he's often overlooked and unheard of. Um, I must admit, like, I'm someone that's known about Paul Nashi for a long time, but has only seen a handful of his films, unfortunately. And <laughs> it in itself is a bit of a crime, especially when you have some fantastic releases coming out. I mean, one of the biggest in the realms of horror as a release releasing a, a company Screen Factory they've done a two box sets now and um, excuses are fastly running out people of why you're not watching Paul Nashi uh, it's, I've had some fantastic uh, reviews this week and I'll be following up with quite a short one because uh, I'm actually this is Monday morning and I just got to the office at work so I'll just be kind of running through very quickly um Dr. Jekyll and the Werewolf from uh what's this, seventy one or seventy three? I can't remember now. It's from a it's a Spanish film. Uh it, the the um director, um Leon Leon Klimov Klimovsky or something. Um Argentinian, so South American. But Argentina they speak Spanish in South America in that area of South America. So yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a Spanish film. Uh, th this is actually the the sixth film in the um, in the franchise. I just got a couple of notes here, um, and it's we follow Count Daninsky, played by um, by uh, Paul Nashi himself as a lycanthrope. So he's a, he's a werewolf. Um, but in this film, he travels, I believe it's to London that he travels, where he he meets with the grandson of Dr. Jekyll. Um, as many werewolf films tend to be, uh, he, he knows he's a werewolf, and he does not want to be a werewolf. So, um, yeah, he, there's the story with Dr. Jekyll. And that he has created a serum to divide Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And it's a bit of a convoluted story. It's a bit all over the shop, this one. But um, he, um, he believes that he can help by turning um, Count Daninsky giving him a serum to turn him into Dr. Jekyll that will kind of allow him to control <laughs> as Mr. Hyde is controlled to allow to control the um, the, the werewolf within him that's the logic and of chaos it doesn't work and through doing this as well as having the monster they create an evil character uh, more sadistic than the werewolf and has some he's really good in this film actually come to think of it it's like um, I would wish they'd really focused on just Nash's ability to be, ability to be a complete bastard in this role because he's really evil and it's um it's a bit schlocky, the film. It, it, it could have been a lot stronger than, than, than this kind of is. I mean, like I said, he's really great in this in this role. And you have, of course, we know how good he is. Well, we've heard some. I urge you, like I said, I urge you to watch. I've, this is only the, um, actually, the second film in this. That, like, this is the sixth film, and... I can't remember the name. Which even one I've seen in in this franchise. 
loose franchise. Well, no, no, it's a proper franchise. But uh, anyway, this is like, the werewolf looks really, really good in this. How he moves and acts and he has this broodiness mixed with the savagery of a whale. It, it's, he's just such a, a good actor in this. And um, like I said, I wish, I wish he'd been more focused. Just, I'd like to see him in, in just Dr. Jekyll because quite a few adaptations over the years of, um, was it Stevenson, I think, wrote uh, Dr. Jekyll. And there's not many good films and I would have loved to have seen this taken and given its own film but that's not what we get in life we, this is what we've got and it's it's a good fun film um there's some cool transformations and like i said that the evilness of, of how he is it's a good and entertaining film it's um it's a bit all all over the place it's um it could have been really atmospheric and like I mentioned the word broody earlier but it, it turns into something a little bit more obvious and uh, well I'm not going to say anymore I actually urge you to watch this and please do if you've not yet watch the other films of this week and really find out about uh, <sighs> a gem of the horror film kind of cinema the, the the history of cinema especially from spain it's like such a huge huge part of the spanish horror film uh horror cinema uh history that everyone should be watching more paul Lashy. um and if you want some tips watch our reviews thank you very much and see you next week bye bye